Тихо, тихо, тихо. Goddad, you, you want to say something? What's that? You want to say something? Uh-huh. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> You've asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us. By loving God and our neighbor parents, do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? In God's parents, I ask you, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Well, Benjamin David, Jesus came forward and addressed the eleven disciples in these words. Full authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples. 
disciples of all the nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to carry out everything I have commanded you, and know that I am with you always until the end of the world. Well, my dear friends, this gospel passage where Jesus gave this commission to his 11 disciples is something that we have done in the church ever since. We baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And in just a few moments, little Benjamin here is going to be baptized. And with that baptism, with the saving waters of baptism, original sin is going to be washed from his soul. He's going to become a child of God. The Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is going to come to dwell with him. And he'll become a member of God's holy church. It's a very special day for him and for each and every one of us. And we gather together with great joy for such an event. But I might suggest that it's just the beginning. It's the beginning of the life of faith to which this little guy is called. And so, Parents, it's going to be your responsibility, and you're helping them too, and uh, grandparents as well, you know, to, to really be there for him. And as he grows up, teach him his prayers, teach him by uh, reading Bible stories, by reading uh, stories of the lives of the saints, there's some wonderful children's books for the little ones, so that they can come to have real heroes, real, real people who, who have given their lives to Christ, you know, so that he can have a good example of what it means to truly live that life of grace. And before you know it, he'll be making his first confession and first Holy Communion. He'll we'll blink a couple more times, it'll be time for his confirmation. And then before you know that, you know, he may be standing behind that altar saying his first Mass. Or he might be standing right here waiting for his bride to come down the aisle. We don't know what's in store for this little guy right now, but we do know that it's called the holiness, and it's going to be your good example that's going to help him to be the man of faith that he's called to be as he grows up. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is about to be baptized, on his parents, on godparents, and on all the baptized. Our response to these petitions will be, Lord, hear our prayer. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bathe this child in light, give him the new life of baptism, and welcome him into your holy church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Through baptism and confirmation, make him your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child, we pray to the Lord. Keep his family always in your love, we pray to the Lord. Renew the grace of our baptism in one of us. Now to these invocations, our response will be, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. Almighty and ever-living God, you sent your only Son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, and to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness, and to bring him into the splendor of your light. We pray for this child, set him free from original sin, make him a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
have strength in the power of Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Now we'll have the blessing of the water. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in the sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood you made the sign of the waters of baptism to make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea you led Israel out of slavery, to be an image of God's holy people set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. And after his resurrection he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church, and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this walk the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness, cleanse him from sin, in the new birth to innocence, by water and the Holy Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So parents of God, parents, I would ask you to respond, I do, uh, to the following questions and to respond with the full conviction of your faith. So I ask you, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was married, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Is it your will that Benjamin David should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed? Yeah. Benjamin David, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. Well, Benjamin David, you have become a new creation, and if you've clothed yourself with in Christ, see in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and Godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Well, Benjamin, you have put on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Dear friends, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's spirit. Holy Communion. He will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together the words that our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now we'll have a blessing for mom and dad and then for all of us. God the Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of May she be one with him in thanking him forever in heaven, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of the faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And by God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life in his goodness. May he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. It's always a great joy to do a baptism. It's also a great joy to have the baptism for a good friend and a lovely couple uh, that I've done the wedding and I've known for some time. So it's always a particular joy for us. So I'm so, so happy for you. So let's go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks. <laughs> 